Hello, this is Byrne, and if you're in the middle of a painful relationship with a man you know is not good for you, maybe it's a codependent relationship, maybe it's an addictive relationship, maybe it's just a guy that's playing wrong for you, I'm going to share on today's video why you're doing this so you can start turning it around starting today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with courageous, ambitious, heart centered, successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams as a result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of yourself without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or any kind of crazy texting techniques. <laughs> uh, listen, there is nothing more anxiety creating and more painful that being stuck in the middle of a relationship that you know is not good for you, you know in your heart of hearts is destroying your possibilities for fulfillment and you can't break out of it. You find yourself after 18 breakups coming back to the same dude or after X number of failures on his part to keep his promises to keep coming back to him again and again and each time it gets more painful you start feeling upset at yourself that you're not able to leave him but it becomes increasingly clear that unless you do something drastic you're not gonna be able to move forward here are the six most common beliefs i found women tell themselves when they find themselves unable to leave a guy who's not good for them the first one is no one will love me this way and they tell me, Bern, you just don't get it. I mean, no one's gonna love me this way. Yes, no one's gonna love you in a Romeo and Juliet, very <laughs> dysfunctional way. Nobody's gonna love you in a way where he promises things and then doesn't fulfill them time and time again. Uh, no one's gonna, it shouldn't feel like you're suffering every time you connect with a man. It shouldn't feel like you're constantly struggling. Relationships are difficult, but they shouldn't be impossible, right? When you tell yourself that no one will love you this way, it feels very romantic to say it but it's complete and utter bullshit. Let me tell it to you right now. If you find yourself unable to live a guy who's not good for you because you claim that the guy loves you so much and so specially that no one will love you this way, you haven't been out there enough in a healthy, strong stance to understand that out of three and a half billion men, potentially one more at least could actually fulfill the, uh, the trick, do the trick. And, and many, many more actually. If you, really if you really do the numbers, there's many more than one that can do this. But st stop telling yourself that it's absolutely not true. Number two, he has so much potential, right? Because nothing spells healthy relationship like being with someone because when he changes, he's going to be great, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, if you, the only reason you can stay in the relationship is if he changes that's already weird. That's already not the right fit for you. When you have been with someone who has not been able to change and you stick around because you feel in, your, in his heart of hearts, he's going to be someone who can, if he changes, when he changes, he's going to be a great partner. You're deluding yourself and it's a red flag that you, you shouldn't be in a relationship, my dear. <laughs> and I mean it. I mean, take a time out for yourself and when you can enter a relationship, with your eyes fully open, of course you're always hoping for the person to get better, but when you can only be with them if they get better, that's, that's a sign of trouble. Number three, my God's telling me that he's the one, right? I can't tell you how many women tell me that stuff. I mean, like, he, I, my God's telling me I have to stay here because he's the one. I mean, let me ask you a question, and I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way. Have you ever considered your God can be fucking wrong? Has that ever entered your mind that sometimes your God is calibrated for pain? Sometimes your God is calibrated for intensity versus greatness, uh, bring you what, what's really good for you? And if that's the case, then you tell yourself that he's the one because your God's telling you, then, I mean, yeah, never mind the fact that he was unfaithful 18 times. Never mind the fact that you've broken up with him 150. Never mind the fact that every time he makes a promise, he breaks it uh, before the 24 hour mark. All those things should be tossed out of the fucking window because your gut's telling you he's the one. Sometimes your gut is wrong and the best thing you can do is to step aside, recalibrate your gut so that it can guide you to healthier decisions and a healthier relationship and a healthier man. Number four, <laughs> but burn, women tell me, burn. What if he changes? I mean, don't you believe human beings can change? 
That's what your whole work's about, people changing. What, what if I give him another chance? What if, he, what, what if he changes? Well, yeah, I mean, I think human beings can change. However, there's indications that sure and show you that that human being, that specific one, is not going to, right? It's like, don't people win the lottery? Yes, sweetie, and it's one in 13,856,000 and change. So there's that one chance, but the vast majority of chances say that you're not gonna win the lottery <laughs> if you just play that way, right? So telling yourself that he has the possibility of changing is akin to playing a very dangerous game called the emotional Russian roulette that I, I, I'll end my video with the emotional Russian roulette, but I want to plant the seed in you that it's something very, very dangerous. You've given him chances. I'm not saying leave the dude at the first sign of trouble. The, well, some things, the, the first sign of certain things you should leave him, but if you've given him nth number of chances and he still hasn't doing it, then you're deluding yourself by saying, well, what if this is the, the, the good time? Number five, because you tell yourself that you can't live without him. You've deluded yourself into feeling that if he's not in your life, your life doesn't have any meaning or that your life would be worthless or that your life would be so painful that you can't even think uh, of how your life would be without him. But I mean, here's the thing, and I'm going to be very graphic with you to ensure that you understand the, the extent at which you're messing up your life. If you are into heroin and you stop doing heroin, I am sure that for a moment you're going to think you can't live without heroin. But here's the truth, if you continue doing heroin, you will freaking die. And if you stop doing heroin, you're gonna go through withdrawals, it's gonna feel so painful, but eventually your nervous system will readjust to not taking the drug and you'll be able to live. It's just gonna feel strong. So tell yourself the truth. The truth is, it's gonna be fucking hard, but it's doable. Doable despite the fact that it's hard. And doable in a way where you now have a chance of getting what you want instead of being shackled to a life of not getting what you want ever. Number six, and this one gets a lot of a, a lot of women uh, addicted to unhealthy men. Well, uh, leaving him now would be like throwing it all away, right? It's like, well, we've gone through so much stuff. It's been so painful. All the suffering would be for nothing if we let it go now. Let me give you an analogy, my dear. Imagine that the fucking Titanic is sinking, and in your uh, in your mind, you say, well. If I jump off the ship right now, I'm going to be throwing away my fur coat and my hat and the jewelry that I just got gifted. So I'm going to stick around here because if I jump off the Titanic that's sinking, uh, it would be throwing things that I have right now away. Well, the truth is, if the, a vessel of that caliber is sinking, you jump off the freaking ship, right? And many times the best thing you can do is jump off the ship before it takes you down with it. The game that you might be playing when you give a man who has proven himself time and time and time and time and time and time again to not be able to change is a game of Russian Roulette. Let me explain. Russian Roulette is a very stupid game that some people play. Uh, and this is metaphorically that I'm speaking, but I'll tell you the actual game. The actual game, there's a gun, there's six bullet holes in the barrel, uh, one bullet gets inserted in it and they basically give it a twirl and then somebody points the gun at their own head and they and they click it. It's such a stupid, stupid, destructive game. But people play this sometimes. So guess what happens? The person doesn't die. That means there's one now, instead of one in six chances, there's one in five chances that the next person that's doing the rounds will. And if that person clicks the gun and they don't die, now the chances just increased to one in four. And if the person doesn't die, then it goes to one in three. This is exactly what you're doing with your love life, with your future, with your own sense of worth. Every time you give more and more and more and more chances to someone who's proven himself not to be able to change. You're playing Russian roulette and you get to the point where your destruction emotionally is imminent. Do not play Russian roulette. Cut your losses when you can and move forward. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you, my dear, to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the first line of the description of this video, you're going to find a link that allows you to watch a free class that I'm creating for you. Enter your name and email and you'll start watching this class that will share with you how you can create a healthy relationship with less pain and less challenges right now. If you're going through this video and you say, Bern, I find myself in one of these relationships or I really need to change or I have been, I've been watching videos left and right, but I'm still not getting what I want. I want some real hand holding. There's another link on the description of this video that allows you to apply for a conversation with me. And if I feel I can help you, my assistant will approve your call and we'll connect. And if I feel I can 
offer you some help, then we'll start working together. And if not, then no harm done. Uh, hope that you really get that even though I've been making light of this and making it funny in some way, there's, it's not laughing matter. When you're in a painful, addictive relationship, it has the potential to destroy your love chances and in many cases your life as well. So if you find someone needs to hear this, please send them the video and hope you have an amazing day. Thank you as always for choosing to allow me into your heart, into your phone, into your life. Mwah.